Good morning and welcome to the Mike Show for Thursday, May 2, 2024. 48 degrees at 10.48 a.m. and I am your host, Vakamal, and I'm a sinner. I am powerless and life is unmanageable. Humility and gratitude are the keys to life. It's always today, it's always now. My life is not my own. My will will not be done. There is no reality but God, and the only thing we have to do is die. So how are we going to live today? And I hope and pray I can live from my heart a life based on faith and not fear. It's no complaint Thursday, and we're getting a late start today, that's for sure. Just couldn't get out of bed. I was tired and cold. I did get up, oh boy, 6.30ish and let out Michael, Max, and Sullivan. They came back in and I went back and laid back down and here we are. Hey, Sully. Princess Elsie just showed her face. She's getting a drinky over there. There's that princess. There's my fairy tale princess right there. You getting a drinky, hon? You gonna come out here? Mackie's over there. Mikey's upstairs. Mr. Dove is outside singing a song. Mr. Morning Dove. It's bright and sunny. Oh, the leaves on the spirea are getting bigger. And there's starting to be some type of leaf action on the maples. Oh, we got some little birds out there feeding. Oh, boy. You be nice, Sully. Sully's going to get a bite to eat. Don't you pick on the princess. There she is. We don't get to see her much. Come on out here, Els. Come on, princess. Come on, honey. Oh, boy. i got a seriously bad hair day going today. I don't know if I mentioned that. Oh, to the 8 billion of you who do not tune in on a regular basis, some time ago I mentioned... Uh, Planting an apple seed I found in a pink lady apple that already had a root on it, and me with my black thumb killed it. Well, we gave it another attempt with a seed from a Granny Smith apple, and there it is. Let's hope this one fares a little better. Looks like Sully wants to go back outside. Where'd the princess go? Did you chase her away? There she is. Come on, Al, stay down here. We're going to let that Sullivan out. Oh, yeah, we almost should be outside having coffee and wake up time. I don't think we've done that once this year. And uh, it used to be a regular thing. Once the snow was gone and the ground was dry, we would go out there every day. But used to be our... Starting to be the theme of my life, and that's not good. We need to get doing again. And I am struggling for energy today to get out on a bike ride, is going to be the plan. Uh, maybe a 25 miler, I don't know if my knees can take it. That's going to be the key factor. Getting some cat food for the loves. We did manage to get out on about a five miler yesterday, actually 4.25 miles to save a lot. The temperature yesterday reached 77, I believe. It was absolutely gorgeous outside. And, uh, oh boy. But I didn't want to push it, I was hurting, so I just did what I could do. But it was feeling such like such a summery day. I uh, had myself a little picnic and I went and got some cold Kogel Viennas and grilled them. And made some of my cross-cultural hot dogs. I don't put them in a tradition traditional hot dog bun. I use a whole wheat, whole grain fajita, chop up some onion. And uh, some banana peppers, and then put some mustard in there, and then roll that hot dog up in that fajita like a burrito. Fold the ends in and roll it up and eat it like that. 
So anyway, and then I had some sea salt caramel ice cream. And I couldn't stop on that. There's not a whole lot of that left. Oh boy. Probably did an overload on the sugar. No, I did an overload on the coffee yesterday. I had an espresso about 5.30 in the afternoon. Actually, a iced coffee. And it went down pretty good. Read to the cats from the book Four Blind Mice. It's a, it's a page turner. And uh, we'll probably read some more of that today. I half thought about raking in the lawn today. The grass is getting longer as are the weeds. But we got to wake up yet. And with that, I've been yammering for quite a while. Should we close out? Yeah, let's take a break. Welcome back, and I don't mean that, and I didn't mean it when I said good morning either. Oh boy, I don't remember how much of a recap we gave. Mackie moved over there. I don't know if he ate his glucosamines or not. Sully's still outside. We pretty much finished our readings this morning. Nothing's really standing out. Just looking out and marveling at spring happening. To the 8 billion of you on this planet who might live in warmer areas where like spring happens in March, we're finally getting that here. Takes a long time to get to this point and it's over so fast it's like the blink of an eye. So anyway, yesterday we did bake bread in the morning and took some to Keith at Save a Lot and Binged, watched more of Northern Exposure. And I don't know how much farther we're going to go with that. It's starting to go off the rails. It's season four I've been watching, and I think it went six seasons. And after the fourth season, David Chase became the producer of the series, and it started really going off the rails with, with the weirdness. wasn't just quirky after that. But we'll see. I am contemplating a ride this afternoon. I'm in no hurry to do anything. In fact, I could just do nothing. But I gotta get away from doing that. That's starting to be the habit rather than the occasional thing. And that's not entirely true, but for me it is. Last year in the month of May, I cycled 800 miles. I waited so long for the nice weather to come, I could not stop riding. And I can look on Strava probably and see exactly, but I'm pretty sure it was 800 miles. It went down the rest of the summer and into the fall. But anyway, nothing out there feeding right now. There is corn. We're just about out of that. We're going to need to go pick up another bag of that fairly soon, probably later today or tomorrow. Um... I walked outside last night. Sully was outside, and I went out to go get him. And it was probably around 9.30, 10 o'clock. And as I got to the corner of the building out there, uh, a breeze hit me. And there was still some faint light in the western sky. And the songs of birds uh, singing, actually a couple geese were in the air. And it was just so magic. And it just reminded me that I need to start getting outside more. Start having fires again at night in the backyard. Having our little coffee can fires. And connecting. Even that little bit of a connection. Just being outside and experiencing that. You can't get that when you're sitting staring at, inside staring at a computer screen. You know. You gotta be outside and all your senses grasp on and feel and interact with the natural world rather than what's going on inside of four walls. It's very healing and it's very good. There's that Sullivan. You coming in, Bobby? Come on in, hon. Did you have a good adventure? Uh-oh, that didn't quite go the way you'd hoped, did it? 
That's all right. Sully's coming in for a bite to eat. So this morning we got a call from someone from Singapore. I have no idea who that was. I didn't hear the phone ringing. I didn't have the uh, the ringtone set so I could hear it. But I just noticed there was a icon that showed I had a call. And sometime last, it was in the winter, I got a text from someone about canceling an appointment. And I ended up texting that person back and forth all day long. Started out letting them know, hey, I think you got the wrong number. I think she was trying to cancel a yoga appointment. and She said she was originally from Singapore. So anyway, I thought it might be that person, but it wasn't. Um... There's something else I wanted to mention. Did you have a good adventure, Saul? Huh, Bobby? Did you have a good adventure? All right. It doesn't matter. Well, yeah, it does. <laughs> it does, but it doesn't, you know. And scanning what passes for news, I noticed another Boeing whistleblower was found dead. Coincidence? I think not. We're back for our closing segment. Sully's getting the... Ready to sit down here. Maxie's doing a little grooming over there. Fairly quiet out there. And I'm not complaining one little bit, but I am trying to work up the ambition to go for a bike ride this afternoon. If the body lets me. Going to have some yogurt with blueberries, some Greek yogurt and blueberries. And uh, it's almost lunchtime. Maybe I'll have another one of my cross cultural. Kogel Vienna's for lunch. And then hop on to Kona and get riding. But sitting here is working pretty good. And I just watched a video and read, a, read an article about a, an elephant. I don't know where it was, but a little kid dropped its shoe into the elephant's, uh, what do you call it, at the zoo? I don't know. But the elephant picked up the shoe and gave it back to the kid. So that, you know, made me feel good. If we could only treat each other that well. So, from the cold gray ashes and coals of my cold black heart, my broken, beaten, battered, bruised, bloody, burdened, empty, hollow, cracked, shattered, hopeless, forsaken, forlorn, twisted, convoluted, confused, bitter, angry, tired, resentful, grieving, happy, and grateful soul. Piss off. Happy No Complaint Thursday. And thanks for not tuning in. You got anything to say, Mackie? I love you, buddy. <laughs>